everyone I'm out here today taking a first flight with my Speedy B Master 5 uh, V2 frame uh, this is my new 5 inch that I just built uh, if you guys been following along on the other videos uh, you've seen me kind of throwing this together I'll put a link to all the accessories and what I've added for this 5 inch uh, FPV drone to all of you guys that don't know I had a previous 5 inch uh, GEP RC Mark 5 dead cat frame um, had that for a little over a year excellent drone excellent frame Unfortunately, it met its demise a couple weeks ago. I'll put a link up so you guys can take a look. Um, but yeah, bad crash, totaled. It was a complete way, uh, complete destruction of the drone. Every, every part was compromised or damaged. So I decided to build a new one uh, from scratch and made some uh, changes in some of the gear that I normally tack onto the drone. Uh, but I'll go over that with you guys again and show you how, how this works. But we're gonna do a flight right now, get it up in the air. Everything's been tested, um, verified all the connections are good, set up in beta flight. So I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and launch this right now. So a couple things stood out to me about why I decided to go with this drone. Um, I have other SpeedyB uh, flight controllers that I'm already using um, on another drone. And so I decided just to go with that to kind of make it a complete unit. Um, I really like that this looks a lot more stable uh, for you know the DJI O3 Air unit. I like that it has a heat sink down here to help remove that heat that definitely heats up during flight, as well as just a lot of accessories that comes with it. So I was really happy with this build. Um, there's a couple things that I'm added on. I got my buzzer um, with this. It's a, it has a standalone battery. Um, it's really loud, works great to help find it. I don't have a GPS unit. Um, as of the time on my build, they've been out online. So I'm waiting for 
want to come in and when that comes in I'll add that onto my build as well. Um, I do have it set up to accept a GoPro Hero 13. Um, that's usually what I fly with when I'm flying my 5-inch drones. Again, overall, really happy with it. Very simple to build. Uh, it took me about one afternoon to get it all together. Um, next day, did all my testing and setup inside of Betaflight. Um, and then, of course, getting everything ready to get out here and fly. Unfortunately, the weather's been really bad where I live uh, for the wind. So we've had wind gusts up, up to 50 miles an hour. So it's kept me grounded this week, but finally able to get out here and uh, add this video for you guys to check out. So where I'm flying today, uh, local park, uh, really doesn't allow me to open up and really get the drone out uh, to test distance. It does have some baseball fields and basketball courts, so there is some obstructions around here. But at least I can get the, a good test in. Um, and which I was able to get done today. So flew without any issues, no warnings. Um, I like the feel of the drone. I think I'm gonna adjust the camera angle so I can start really pushing the speed on it. Um, but unfortunately right now, I, like I said, I don't have a GPS unit on, so I can't really see how fast I'm going. Um, so once I get that is installed, I'll be able to see how fast I can push this drone. Again, I mainly fly just to follow either the local mountain bike races or motocross. Uh, you guys can check out some other videos on my channel that we just did over at Glen Helen Raceway. Um, overall, happy with this drone, this setup. Um, I'm excited to, put out, to test out some new features as well as just get this uh, up in the air. And like I said, this is a, overall this build was for less than $500. Um, the most expensive part, of course, is the DJI 03 Air Unit. Um, but again, the frame was about $80, depending on where you buy it online. Um, and then, of course, you know, buzzer, about $12. I'm using Express LRS, so my receiver was about another $25. Motors, I have some 2207 uh, 1960 KV motors, uh, cinematic style. Uh, they were great. They weren't overheating after my first flight, which is great. Um, and then of course I just added on some uh, little uh, bumper pads on the bottom of the drone. I put these on all of my drones, so it gives me a little bit of extra cushion. Even though it had some kind of skid pads um, on the motor arms, um, I always put these on. It just gives it a little cushion, especially if I'm landing on the concrete or a sidewalk or something like that. Um, but again, overall very good uh, frame. I'm um, really happy to get flying with this.